Welcome to Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery. In this video, we're gonna take a look at sheep getting sheared. So they started off beautiful, fluffy, and enjoying winter and spring in their huge coats. And then they ended up completely different looking like this. So we're diving into the time-lapse of sheep shearing and Full disclosure, we personally don't know how to shear sheep, so we've been super lucky to find someone like Jerry here that is shearing our sheep who has been doing it for decades. And you can see he sort of makes a stripe starting from the belly and then goes down and does around the leg and then he goes back up towards the neck after he's finished that part but it's just really really amazing to see him work he's actually won competitions for how quickly he can shear sheep and i know his son has hundreds of sheep so obviously he does this on a regular basis and we're really hoping to learn how to shear sheep ourselves over time but for the time being if you have a small dairy flock of sheep like we do it definitely makes sense to try to find someone who can come in and shear your sheep for you it is such an incredible thing to witness and I hope you're enjoying watching it in action here and right now we're going at double speed so he is actually going very very quickly he can get done in just a few minutes per sheep and this is not even his usual setup usually he has an overhead shearing uh, machine and this is kind of his mobile setup so you can see that the sheep is already starting to look so different and you can see it's almost like taking off their whole coat and seeing a completely different animal underneath. But the cool thing with this wool is that you can actually use it for a lot of different things and we've been using it for insulation inside of our chicken coop so we do have to watch out that mice don't make a nest in it and that we're not capturing too much moisture in there but it is such a great resource to have so definitely don't think that this is a drawback to having sheep i think having wool is so incredible and it's such a great product um, we haven't learned how to clean it and turn it into yarn yet so that is also another future project for when we have a little bit more time our kids are older and all of that good stuff but this is such a great thing to be able to have someone come and shear sheep and do it right. Uh, I have read stories of people who tried to shear their own sheep and um, it just causes a lot of stress for their animals if they're not confident and if they're not quite sure what they're doing. So I think it's great if you can find someone who can do it for you, you can apprentice, you can learn from them, and then you can also do it well and do it right and not take too much time. I highly recommend that you watch the next video all about pregnant sheep and what to do during lambing season because we are currently entering lambing season and this is why we're shearing right before lambing so that everything is a lot easier to clean up the sheep are nice and ready and also this helps us see if our sheep are pregnant we can see a lot better and see their formation so now it's time to put the wool away and i'll catch you in the next video